Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends video and today I'm going to be showing you my 5 tips on how to make you a better player. Uh, like I said, these are my tips, this is my opinion, these are the things that I use to get uh, 16 kills, 18 kills, and even uh, 20 kills. So yeah, I'm bringing you this video to hopefully help you guys out, to help you like, you know, grow your uh, overall gameplay and just help you get those high kill games, you know, because these are the things that I use. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and if you're new to my channel and you want to see more of this content you know don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it and if you guys didn't check it out already i did bring out a video yesterday as well on just how to control the recoil better in this game and uh that plays a huge part as well and just trying to improve your overall gameplay uh so yeah like i said if you didn't watch it already i totally recommend that you do you know if you want to bring up your stats as in like uh, just your damage per game your kills per game uh just yo just go give it a uh, look and let me know what you guys think about it so the first tip that I got for you guys is just taking advantage of the movement in this game. I mean, look at how I'm sliding and just throwing her complete aim off. She <laughs> misses every single bullet and just basically does not stand a chance. Here's another clip where I just slide into the caustic and he does not see me coming, but I have to reload. So I'm going left, right, left, right, jumping up everywhere, just completely throwing his aim off. He does not know what to do and he does not stand a chance. So yeah, that's the first tip. Just taking advantage of the movement. You know, it's there for a reason. So do not be afraid to use it because it's going to take your game to a whole nother level. The second tip that I got for you is just knowing whether to heal or fight. You gotta really evaluate the situation and you gotta know what's going on. If you have enough time to heal, if you have enough time to take out an opponent and then go heal and then come straight back before they uh, revive them. So I know I got this Octane pretty hurt. I push him, I take him out. Uh, so I know it's a 2v1 situation. I see both in here, but I back out real quick because you know they tagged me a couple times. This, path, this Pathfinder tries pushing me. I tag him a couple times, uh, so I'm going to just quickly take a shield cell, I'm not panicking, so, and then I hear this lifeline just healing the octane, trying to revive him, and then here I go again, taking advantage of the slide, look at this, just completely throws her off a little bit, I jump over here, try to heal up, but he's pushing me, so I know the situation is a 1v1, you know, I'm not panicking, that's a huge thing, do not panic, go through the door, close it, take a shield cell, you know and just boom game over just like that it's that easy you know you just gotta think quick which brings me to my third tip and that's learning how to think fast and smart you know depending on the situation uh, what I mean by that is just you know if you have enough time to heal if you have enough time to take out your opponent before the others come to you uh, just knowing the environment around you you know if you have rocks if you have a tree to use cover which is right here a good example I literally have a tree I'm using the tree as cover I'm able to get the shield battery off and I'm able to take out these two guys in a very crazy situation so you know just think smart and fast you gotta just get used to it but here's another good example of me just thinking fast and smart. Uh, I realize that this lifeline is all by herself. She has purple shield, but it's not a problem because like I said, she's all by herself. Uh, she's gonna take out my teammate here in just a second. So now I know it's a 2v1 situation. Uh, I have this rock right in front of me, like I said, knowing the environment around you and I'm able to take advantage and take a shield battery. Uh, this Wraith is right here. I'm tagging her real good using the best gun in the game the r99 if you don't use it i totally recommend it so now i know it's a 1v1 situation and usually when it's a 1v1 situation i do not panic because i know i got it i trust my skills i have faith in my skills uh luckily he did not get me here uh and i just there you go squad wipe just like that just just off of thinking smart and fast and knowing the situation the fourth tip that I got for you guys is repositioning. Just taking a, a different position and just throwing your opponent off completely. So luckily these guys aren't the best players, but look at how I'm just jumping on top of these boxes and Cossack has no idea what to do. I see this Bangalore, I jump up, trying to look for me, can't find me obviously just because I jumped on top of the box and a squad wipe just like that. Just taking different positions and just throwing your opponent off will make all the difference in this game. So here's another great example of me just repositioning myself and just completely throwing my opponent off even though they had the advantage and I was most likely going to die in the situation but thank god I didn't. So I'm right here taking a shield cell. Uh, it's a 2v1 situation I believe so I take this guy out, I slide right here behind the tree. I see a lifeline up there, she just completely melts me. But like I said, knowing the environment around you, I have this truck right here, I know I have enough time to heal up. 
at least a little bit. Uh, I know she's coming to my left and look at me, just jump on top of the truck and she has no idea. It just throws her off and I have the advantage and I don't know why she kicked the air right there, but I'm not complaining because I came out alive. Uh, so yeah, like I said, that is that plays a huge part in this game. I cannot stress it enough how, mu how important it is to just reposition yourself and throw your opponent off. It's gonna make all the difference in this game. It'll just completely improve your gameplay and I guarantee you're gonna get way more kills in this game. So the last tip that I got for you guys is just keeping high ground. I cannot stress it enough. Keep high ground. This is a 1v3 situation. I did upload this clip the other day. It was uh, showing why the R99 is the best gun in this game, in my opinion. But look at this purple shield. Boom, just gets melted. I got this high ground. 2v, uh, 1v1 situation. Like I said, I'm usually comfortable in these situations. Thank God he misses his whole clip on me. And boom, squad wipe just like that. That's all we do, baby. Squad wipes. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, just keep high ground. If you have high ground, do not give it up. Uh, so I take this guy out. 138 to the dome. But anyways, I know there's two more guys. You know, there's no reason to give up high ground. Uh, another thing you gotta you gotta really hear in this game. I hear uh, Bangalore healing up this uh, Bloodhound, but I come out, come down here, take her out. It's a 1v1 situation, like always. I'm not panicking. I do get a shot off on her right here with my longbow, and I just take her out with the P2020. That's probably like my third kill in this game with the P2020. But uh, <laughs> yeah, those are my five tips in this game on just how to improve an Apex Legends and just make you a better player overall. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you did enjoy, please do not forget to hit the like button. And uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more of this content, I try and upload daily and you know stream here and there. But yeah, like I said, thank you so much for the love and support, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys on the next one. I love you all. Peace.